At these two churches in Liverpool, hundreds of voters came out to exercise their right this election day. Though they all cast their ballots the same way, voters come out in all shapes and sizes. What, why did you guys come here today? Um, to, to vote. vote. To vote? Yeah. Did you guys vote? No. 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 <laughs> well, all right. I don't take a picture much anymore. I don't have any hair left. <laughs> Owen, Jake, Mia, Maya, Brady, and Rob, although decades apart in age, all realize the responsibility that comes with being an American citizen. I started when I was 18. My parents required it. <laughs> They're both teachers. Rob voted for the first time during the Eisenhower election, but he says that the process has remained generally the same. The rest of the process really was pretty much the same, except that now they use digital equipment to take the vote. And back in those days, you had to write it down on a ballot. Owen is only eight years old, but the voting process is nothing new to him. Um, you fill out um, a ballot and you choose who you want to um, win, and, um, and you put it in a machine, and then it, um, and then it goes and then, to it, and then they count it up, and it goes to um, see who wins. Though Owen has only witnessed one president in office, this election marks the 14th president to have served during Rob's lifetime. I started when I was 18. <laughs> Fifth, 1950. I don't even remember. And whether you're 8 or 80 years old, clearly the right to vote will always be important. Reporting from Liverpool, I'm Marissa McBride. NCC News.